obviously be careful about what you spend money on because it's a big investment. There's no, nothing, you know, there's nothing worse than spending four thousand bucks and feel you got ripped off. All right, so definitely, you know, you know, take a look at what you're getting when you look for a, you know, a CCIA class uh, solution there. And what I would recommend, because we'll recommend our classes, but if you want to do a different perspective, I would recommend choosing Netmaster class. Um, if you want to do like our technology class, then go to Netmaster's class. That's fine. I mean, he's a really good guy. You're going to learn a lot from it for sure. Um, but you know, there's some third party out there, some third party classes out there where they'll say the instructor is one, but you show up and it's some guy you never heard of, or you know, you're taking a class because it's 2,000 bucks and you go in there and it's a guy who passed to CCIE six months ago and he really is not a good instructor. All right, so you definitely want to be careful. Make sure you know what you're getting when you're going, because I'll tell you from a CCA lab perspective, the instructor makes, makes the class or breaks the class. You get a good class, you can have good material on a sorry instructor, and, that, and it, doesn't really, it doesn't really help you. Okay, a lot of people out there think they can commoditize CCIA training, but they can't. You know, it's like saying I can learn art from anybody. Someone could write, you know, a little workbook on how to, how to be an artist, and I can learn it from anybody. No, I want to learn from someone who actually is an artist. Okay, it's the same thing. It's the same thing with the workbook solution. Look at what the workbook covers. Okay, make sure you're getting something that is used and is, it is a successful solution. Okay, the two most successful solutions, I hate going into this, but I'll tell you that people who certify the most people are Internet Work Expert and Netmaster class. Those two people certify the most RNS CCAs out there. There's a reason behind it, okay, and, and it comes down to the material. Okay, and there, there's, it's not luck, it's not marketing, it's not anything. It's, in fact, you'll find that Netmaster class and Internet Work Expert are the people who do the least marketing. We have the, you know, the websites that don't look all fancy. You know, we're more engineers, we're not fancy marketers. But we certify more people and it's because of the quality of the products there. So the same thing with uh, like a workbook with a class. Make sure what you're getting. Make sure you're not getting ripped off by, you know, paying for the lab, lab workbook and then they pay, then they charge you for the solutions. I mean, I don't see how people do that. People do it. It's good marketing. You know, you, what you do is you don't call it a solution guide, you call it something else. You rename the solution guide to some other fancy word, but it's really the solutions. The same thing you get from there an expert for free, but they'll charge you 500 bucks. Uh, it's, it's good marketing, but it's, it's not good business at the end of the day. To write a book and then charge you 500 more bucks for the solutions. You know, I mean, how, you know, at the end of the day, you're, you're, you're gouging more money out of people, but you know, you know how, how do you sleep at night? All right, I mean, the workbook's expensive, expensive enough as it is, for sure. All right, the CCI workbook's out there. All right, one other thing you'll find a lot with, like, I, I, I can only speak for Internet Work Expert, and I know Netmaster Class Workbook. You'll see a lot of verifications in both of the workbooks out there. Uh, and that's kind of key. Not only what is the solution and why it's the solution, but how do you verify it? All right, definitely an important aspect of it there. Definitely it's nice to see the verification for the task. So how do you verify it? Because if you go to the CCI lab and they ask you a task and then you implement it but you don't know how to verify it, what good is that? It doesn't really help you there. Okay, real quick, we're almost done here. I'm, I'm gonna go through this real quick here and then we'll take some uh, questions at the end here. Uh, I definitely wanna make sure you guys follow a structured approach. You'll see the same thing with, uh, you know, like I said, you'll see the same thing here when you go to our website, learning the technologies, applying the technologies, and preparing for the lab. Make sure you don't skip that learning the technologies portion and that applying the technology portion. Most people want to spend their time only preparing for the lab. Okay, they don't want to spend time on learning the technologies or applying them, and applying them is that hands-on. Learning is that reading that you do. Okay, that, that definitely is the important part. A lot of people want to just get practice lab, practice lab, practice lab, but at the end of the day, they end up going to the lab multiple times. And the extreme cases are the people that I see go to the lab 10, 11 times. Okay, so like we talk about here, you know, as you guys know, we, this is listed on our website, to, uh, just real quick. The dip, we have the, I want to mention this because we renamed the products and it creates a little bit of confusion. The RNS Lab Workbook Volume 1, the IEWD Volume 1 is our old, what we used to call the technology labs. Now it's the Volume 1 labs. 
And the idea is that you work through those volume one labs at the same time as you go through the advanced technologies class. The volume one labs will be rewritten in the near future to support Dynamass. So they're going to be rewritten to use Dynamass and a standard topology. Right now the topology's changed between the labs. We're going to get them to use a standard topology, which is the same one used for the class. And they will also be written to support uh, uh, Dynamass there. It's also an audio class there if you want to listen to uh, Brian McGann talk uh, about the different technologies. Definitely good to reinforce those. Uh, you know, as you're driving back and forth to work or whatever there. The, uh, the IEWB is now called the IEWB Volume 2. These are the full-scale labs. We also offer the breakdowns for the labs. These are us, Brian and I, going, people get confused because it's called Class on Demand. But Class on Demand is, is, is this, it's, it's a style of learning. Okay, so Class on Demand is a style of learning. It's not a particular product. We used to only have one class on the man product, now we have multiples. But it's basically about two hours, two and a half hours of Brian or I uh, going through the lab. So we walk through the lab and explain the solutions, how you would do this lab, how you would approach this lab, why this is a solution, and so forth there. So if you want to uh, see that kind of stuff, that's what the, the RNS lab uh, breakdowns are. They're actually very, very time consuming for us to develop. We got about seven of them released. Uh, releasing a lot more now because we changed the format. We had a little problems in the early formats of them, but they're going pretty quick now. So the RNS uh, lab breakdowns is just you know about two hours. Like the first four of them are me going over the labs, talking about what to do for this scenario, why would I do this, why would I skip this topic, why would I come back to it later, and so forth. There, why this is the answer, why this other feature is not the answer, and so forth. There. So it's just like you know, it's like you getting to sit with us and and watch us talk about the labs. Okay, uh, the lab workbook volume three, which used to be called the core workbook. Used to, the reason we changed that here, um, the reason we changed the naming is because it created confusion. People thought core, they thought core meant basic. But core means core technologies, meaning that we're focusing on anything that relates to IP reachability. So these labs are what you're gonna do, you know, a, when you wanna increase your speed and accuracy on the core technologies. So you want to, because when you go to CSA lab, you know you're going to get these, you know you're going to get router distribution, you know you're going to get OSPF, you know you're going to get RIP, you know, you know, you, or EIGRP or both, you know, you know you're going to probably get frame relay. It's not NDA, the CSA program manager said a few years ago, everybody would get OSPF. Whether they change or not is uh, highly unlikely, probably everybody does to probably still get OSPF, at least a little bit of OSPF. So these core technologies, you know, you've got to be able to get from you know, from the point of a bare config to full IP reachability real quick. And within three or, you know, within three, four hours, absolute max. Hopefully you're doing it within two and a half or three hours there. So that's what the core technologies, uh, they focus on. They focus on from, from the beginning config to full IP reachability and that's it. Okay, they actually have some like route distribution scenarios written into them. Uh, we go, you know, definitely it has a little bit harder route distribution scenarios than the actual workbook. The actual topologies in the core in the volume three is actually a little bit more complicated than what's in volume two. But the idea is you're just trying to, you know, increase your speed and accuracy. You're not, you know, you're not trying to learn stuff uh, new for the first time. But it does give some pretty complicated topologies there. Finally, when you're done. Well, you know, this is after you got through this basic stuff, you got through this core stuff, you want to go through some mock labs or some five or like a boot camp style class. And I think for, you know, and a, a really good example, I, you know, I, I don't have any beef with anybody saying that, hey, I'm going to take your technology class and I'm going to go take, you know, one of the, the Netmaster class check it labs, or I'm going to take one of your mock labs and take one of their check it labs. Perfectly fine. You know, they're really good people over there at Netmaster class, um, and it's good to mix it up a little bit there. Now, with that in mind, though, we do have this, you know, structured approach, meaning that what you will see in the boot camp, like in the five-day boot camp, is different than what you'll see in the other classes, and it's a different style. Okay, it's the same thing with the mock labs. When you take the mock lab workshop, or some of the new mock labs that we're just releasing now, when you take these, you'll find that they are different. Okay, they are different than the style of writing than what you saw in the main workbook. Even though the main workbook scrambles it up a little bit, 
the mock labs, some of the newer ones really scrambled up. So, you know, definitely, you know, you want to 